Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be my January favorites or my first favorites video of 2017. So I'm super excited for this video. Honestly, I feel like I don't have a ton to talk about in this one because as we got closer to the holiday time, I put myself on a pretty strict no buy and I continued that into January. I actually just made my first makeup purchase this week. So I haven't been trying out a ton of new stuff, but I feel like for February, I will hopefully have more to talk about because I have bought a few new products and I've also gotten a few things sent to me recently that I will be testing out throughout the next couple of weeks here. But I of course still do have a couple of favorites that I want to throw in here for you and then just a miss as well. But if you'd like to see what I've been loving on in the month of January, please keep watching. Okay, so why don't we just start with the mist just to like get it out there and get it over with and then we can move on. So I was sent these from Influencer. These are L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. So these were sent to me from Influencer in a Vox box. So these were a really big miss for me, unfortunately, because I've actually featured L'Oreal Shampoo and Conditioner. I think it was in my November Favorites video. And I talked about how much I loved it. So when I got the notice from Influencer that I was getting these, I thought, fantastic, I'm probably going to love them. And I did not love them at all. So my first big issue with it is it says that these are good for volume. I have very, very thin, thin hair. And these made my hair so thin. I was kind of talking about it on my Snapchat, but like when I put my hair in a ponytail, I'll usually wrap my pony three times. I was wrapping my ponytail four times and still like when I was working out, my hair was falling out of the ponytail. That's how thin my hair was and that typically does not happen. And then also it made my hair so staticky. And I remember the first time that I realized that my hair was staticky and I was like, oh, it must be because I wore a hat tonight. I mean, it's, it's winter in Iowa. I wear a hat basically every day but I was like no it must be because of the hat and then my hair was still staticky and I remember I, I actually washed my hair I only wash my hair twice a week so I washed it again because I was like this is just so staticky it's driving me crazy like I don't need to wash it yet but I will and it was still staticky and I'm like maybe it's the air is drier maybe it's like super duper cold right now and that's what's making my hair staticky I washed my hair again with these again still staticky and then I was like uh, I think maybe it's these so I switched and went back to my like regular shampoo and conditioner no static and my hair was still thin but not super duper thin so unfortunately these did not work out for me and I'm super bummed because a lot of people on snapchat said that they really liked it but no these were a big no-go for me I will be passing these along to someone else who would get better use out of them okay so now to jump into my favorites I have kind of a different favorite that I wanted to talk to you guys about and it is Scentbird so Scentbird they sent me a perfume to try it was maybe in like October or November it was a couple months back they reached out and they asked if they could send me their perfume sample to try and you know test them out and I was like okay sure I was a little bit leery about it because I'm not a big perfume per person, mostly because I typically forget to put my perfume on before I leave the house and then I'm like, man, that sucks. But I was curious to try these out because they're just these little guys, so they're easy to throw in a purse. So I thought maybe that will help me with my issue. And I actually ended up really, really loving it. I actually, so I have two different guys here. They come in these little bags that I just dropped. But um, I actually have another one in my purse too, the original one that I was sent that has like this much perfume left in it. I will use the rest of that up. But then they actually reached out to me again and asked if they could send me another sample. And so I picked one out and they sent that to me and then they also sent me an extra one of like their scent of the month, which I just thought was really cool and super nice. But I wanted to mention them because I've been having such a good experience with them and with the perfumes. So. It comes in this little bag that says Scentbird on it and then inside you have the little vial that looks like this and then you can twist it up and then spray for the perfume or if you take it out that's what it looks like and it does have the scent right here in case you can't remember. So this one is my Burberry Black which that was a scent that I picked out I think last month or the last time I got one I think I picked out a Prada scent maybe. If I'm recalling that right and then this scent this other one that they sent me that was their scent of the month was the Malin and goats dark rum 
I'm not sure if I'm saying that totally correct. These are just what they look like and I just like them because they're super convenient for me. Like I said, I'm the person that forgets to put her perfume on before I leave the house. These have been a really easy and convenient, quick way and they're small. They don't take up a lot of room. I can put these in a clutch. I've been really happy with these. I've also been getting a lot of compliments on the scent of them and even like when I have been pulling them out of my clutch, my girlfriends are like, Wait, what is that? Can I try some of that? Because I just have this huge bottle of perfume that I shoved in my purse, but that looks so much better. And I'm like, yeah, it totally is. And it's a cool way to try designer perfumes for a cheaper price. So it's $14.95 a month, and then each month you get the new perfume sent out to you. I think it's a really cool concept and cool idea, and I've been loving it way more than I thought that I would. I kind of thought I would just be like... Oh, that's nice to have, like, good to have, glad I was able to try it out, but I've been finding myself recommending it more and more to people, especially even people, like, in real life, because I think this is something that comes in handy for a lot of people. So I wanted to mention it in my favorites video because, yes, I've just been loving on Scentbird. I have two products to show about that I can't show you show you so I'll place some pictures in here um, but one is because they are eyelashes and I just feel like it doesn't really do eyelashes justice if I just hold up like one false eyelash so I will find the box and put them in here and try to insert a photo of me actually wearing the lashes as well but these are the Ardell 113 lashes and I am obsessed with them I first saw someone wearing them on Instagram and I was like I need those lashes. I couldn't find them in store and I finally just ordered them off Alta and I've been obsessed with wearing them ever since. They are super light, they're very wispy, but they're long and just, they're just beautiful. I love Ardell lashes, they are super inexpensive and I'm definitely gonna be stacking up on the 113 lashes. So another product that I have to share about is skincare and I am freaking out because I can't show it to you because I can't find it. I'm literally looking around my office like, could it be on the ceiling? Where did this go? But it's the Dr. Brand Oxygen Facial. So I think it was just like last week or two weeks ago, I filmed my complete skincare routine and collection video. So I had all of my skincare down here and then I thought I took it all upstairs to my bathroom but I couldn't find it. So I think it's just, and then I also tried to clean my bathroom after I did that. And I'm like, where, where did I put that? Because I'm starting to get a little angry because obviously I'm mentioning it in favorites video because I love it. And I'm like, I need the tingliness on my skin. Where, where have I put that? So the Dr. Brand Oxygen Facial, I did talk about it in my skincare video, but it's just an oxygen facial so when you put it on it looks like you have like shaving cream on your skin it's super bizarre but within like five seconds it starts to like tingle and you can kind of like see the mask like bubbling and popping it's super cool like it just feels fun on the face like it's an experience when you put it on but it also makes your skin look really healthy, like gives it a nice glow. It's supposed to be super hydrating and also just makes my skin feel nice. I've been like addicted to using it and it says you're only supposed to use it I think like twice a week and there's times where I'm like, okay, I, I know I used it that day and I know I used it that day so I shouldn't use it but should I use it? I don't know. Like I wish I could use this every single day. Like I wish it said it was for daily use because I have so much fun using it. So the Dr. Brand Oxygen Facial, I'm about to go tear apart my house so I can find this again, but I've been loving on that. But I also want to talk about my nail polish because I've done my nails like this a handful of times and I get a lot of questions of what I did to my nails. So I do have acrylics. I do is when I go to get my nails done, usually the first thing that they say when I say, oh, I need a fill, they say, pick out your color. And I say, oh, it's okay, I just paint my nails at home. I mean, I've been going to the same place now for probably like the last four or five fills and I swear to you still every time they look at me like, what? And I've tried to explain, like, I have so many nail polishes, and I get nail polishes sent to me, and, you know, I take pictures a lot, and I'm on videos, and I like to switch up my nails, blah, 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 and they still look at me like, you don't want us to paint your nails? Like, they think I'm crazy, and I know that. But it's true, I have a ton of nail polishes, I'm constantly painting my nails, repainting my nails, I get bored with colors so easily, but what I keep coming back to is this, like, really, I mean, this is, like, clear but with a little bit of pink and it's kind of like my own spin on the ombre 
trend that everyone's doing right now because no nail salon in Des Moines, Iowa can figure out how to do that. So I haven't been able to hop on that train because I totally would. So this is kind of like my own take on it. It's totally not the same thing, but it's like my interpretation of it. And the nail polish that I use to get that effect is Kiss on the Chic. This is from OPI. And then I just do a really light layer like I do most of it at the base of my nail and then as I bring the brush up like it's very very light that's kind of how I'm doing more ombre even though honestly I don't know if I feel like it's like super ombre but I like to think in my head that that's what I'm doing so I just focus most of the color and pigmentation on the bottom of the nail and then as I brush up I'm not adding any more nail color to it but I keep reaching for this one and I can tell that I'm gonna have to get a new one soon because this isn't like a new nail polish to me I found this in my collection and I was like, oh, I bet that would be really pretty. And then I became obsessed with it. So Kiss on the Chic from OPI. So one product that's been a total standout for me from the first time I use it is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. And I have mine in Midnight Cowboy. So it's just a glitter eyeliner. I use this in my NYE in my NYE. I use this in my New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. And it is amazing. I was hearing so many good things about it. Everybody was raving about it and what I did was I actually got it in the Extravagant Eyes Sephora Favorite set. It came with a bunch of different eye products in there but this one was in there and this is $20 originally. The whole set was $40. Like it was a total steal. Really glad that I picked it up. I don't think it's available anymore but in case it is I'll leave it linked down below but this is to me it's definitely worth the $20 and I want to buy more colors of these because I think they're amazing. I love glitter and I love playing with glitter. It's not something I do on a daily basis but when you want to do a glitter look and you want to do something fun you need to have glitter right but the problem with me with glitters is that they always burn my eyes and I feel like that's very very common when people talk about glitter eyeliners this does not burn the eyes in the slightest for me I can wear this for hours and hours and hours without having any sort of eye irritation and I'm totally impressed with it it's beautiful I love the color like this gold color is super pretty but I would love to even get some other like more colorful ones easy to use stays on all night super impressed with this and this is a new eyeshadow to me and I'm not gonna lie you guys I've only used this two times but I already like I knew from time one that this was gonna be a favorite I was like I was like knocked over when I tried this product and I realized how amazing it was. It is an eyeshadow from ColourPop. It's in collaboration with Amanda Steele and it is in the shade Hydroplane. Well, this color is amazing. This is like a total mermaid shade and it is beautiful. It's like the blue green. And it has flecks of like purple iridescent in it and it is just so so cool this was actually sent to me from octoly and when i was applying to you know have color pop perhaps send me something i went with hydroplane because it's such a different color it's not something that i would normally purchase for myself and so i thought why not try to get something different if color pop decides to send it to me that would be really cool and immediately for when the first time that i put it on my eyes i was like this is so cool if my instagram tutorial is up by now i will leave it linked down below but I did use this for an Instagram tutorial as well. I also wore it in my previous Will I Buy It look as well. So if you'd want to see it on me, there's some examples there. And I think what got me the most is that a lot of times with my ColourPop eyeshadows, they really don't apply well with a brush. Like you really do have to use your finger and that's why I don't gravitate towards my ColourPop eyeshadows a lot. No matter if it's a dark color, a light color, a sparkly color, a glittery color, you still really just need to use your fingers. And because I have these long nails, it's hard for me to put my fingers in there and then also apply and I'm constantly like poking myself. This went on so well with the brush. I used a regular flat shader brush when I used the shade and I had no issues with it. It went on perfectly fine, showed up, super pigmented. I love this color. Like I did not expect to love this color, but I love this color. The last items I have to talk about are uh, lippies. I just have three of them, but the first one that I want to talk about is from Milani. It's the Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream. So I started hearing a lot of people start raving about these, and I was like, okay, maybe I could try to find some. Milani, to me, is such a hard brand to find. I know they are in CVS stores, which we finally just got our first CVS in Des Moines. One day I was there randomly perusing the makeup aisles like I normally do, and I found them, and I was like, I gotta get me these. These metallic lips are amazing. So this was also, I think, my first foray with metallic lips. 
I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. And I kind of didn't know what to expect and I was blown away. These are super pigmented. They are super comfortable. I wasn't quite sure like how comfortable a metallic lip would be on the lip. Nope, they're totally fine and they are just beautiful. I was so super impressed with this. I loved the color. I loved the way it looked. Mine is in the shade Materialistic. And I think it's just freaking bomb. I, I love these. I want to get more of them. They no longer have these at my CVS. The last time I went to CVS, that display was totally taken away and they don't have them anymore, which totally bums me out. But if you haven't tried the Milani Metallic Lips yet, I think they're a great one. I have a shade from ColourPop. This was also one that was sent to me via Octoly. It was one of their holiday lip colors. It's the Ultra Matte in the shade Perky. So this was a part of the holiday collection, so it has like the black lid and then kind of like the frosted tube here. And the shade is in Perky, and I feel like I have just been raving to everybody about the shade. I became obsessed with it. I have so many lipsticks. I am a lip junkie. I am a lipstick hoarder. I'm constantly buying new lips. Like even when I'm like, I don't need anything, but let me throw this lipstick in my bag. Like I don't need them, but I keep buying them. And that usually means that I am either testing new lipsticks out or I just want to switch up my lipsticks. And I found myself constantly reaching for this one and I'm like, wait a second, I can't wear the same lip product like three videos in a row, can I? Like that's probably weird, right? I need to switch it up, but that is how much I love it. I love the color. I also love the new Ultra Matte Formula from ColourPop. I've been buying from ColourPop for a very long time, and their Ultra Matte Formula wasn't one of my favorites because I found it very drying and very crumbly on the lips. Like, I still like the color payoff. I like that they're only $6. That's a great price. You can't really beat it. But now their new Ultra Matte Formula, I've gotten this one and I have a couple other Ultra Mattes as well, newer ones from ColourPop, and they all have a new amazing like top notch formula. There's no reason that a $6 ColourPop Ultra Matte lip will not do you justice and fit in just great with your makeup collection. I've been super impressed with it. It's amazing. Perky from ColourPop. It's definitely a huge favorite of mine. Since it was holiday, I'm don't know if it will be limited edition or if it's still available, but if it is, I'm leaving it linked down below and make sure you pick it up because ColourPop turns over their inventory so often, so you want to make sure you get it. And then the last one that I have to talk about is from Marc Jacobs. I can't believe this is happening, you guys, but it is the Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss. It did it. It got me. It got me. I didn't think it would, and it did. So a lot of people talk about the Marc Jacobs lip glosses. Jaclyn Hill completely raves about them. She's always talking about Sugar Sugar and how much she loves it. And I finally broke down. I had like some sort of coupon with Sephora and I thought, okay, I'm gonna do it. Cause this is like, what is this, like $28 or something for the lip glosses. And I'm like, that's so expensive. I wouldn't even wanna spend that on a liquid lipstick and I'm spending it on a lip gloss. And I'm obsessed with it. Uh, this goes everywhere with me. When I travel, it goes with me. When I'm just going out, it goes with me. I like it alone. I think it's fine. It's very nude, so it's not my favorite to wear alone. What I really love to wear it over is like a nude or nude brown liquid lipstick. And you know, it just happens that whenever we wear any sort of liquid lipstick, it does start to dry off the lips at some point. And a way to revive it is you just put a little bit of sugar sugar over it and it just brings the lips back to life and I love it. Or even just not for that reason, just to just wear it over top of any liquid lipstick. It doesn't have to be nude or nude brown. Just wearing it on top of any lipstick just gives the lips a beautiful glossy like plumped lip oh it just I didn't think I would fall in love with it you guys I truly did not think I would I honestly kind of had a thought of like if it doesn't like wow me the first two times I wear it I'm taking it back like it's so expensive and it turned into one of my absolute favorites that I now take everywhere with me so there's that Alright guys, so that is going to be everything for my January favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Let me know what you've been loving on in the month of January. There's been a lot of new releases, especially drugstores, so let me know what your favorites have been. Leave it in the comments down below. Let me know if there's anything that you think I have to check out or if you agree with any of my favorites. Do leave that in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for coming by my channel. As always, I really appreciate it. Kicking off 2017, I'm just full of goals and ideas and things that I want to 
accomplished throughout the year. I hope that you are as well. I hope that you're still feeling inspired and motivated as we get to the end of the first month. I know sometimes now can be when our resolutions start to go by the wayside, but let's bring them back. Let's keep pushing for them and just have an amazing year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being my subscribers. I appreciate you all so very much. If you did enjoy this video, please do make sure to give it a thumbs up because that really does help me out. Make sure you are a subscriber before you go and I'll catch you guys real soon in my next one. Bye.